a powerful storm system moving east tonight and will be with us throughout the night into tomorrow. Let me show you what's happening right now. This big slug of Gulf moisture heading our way. It's going to dump a lot of rain on us in a short period of time. We're talking a month's worth of rain in 12 hours tomorrow, folks. Wild, right? This line of storms will also be something we'll need to watch closely tonight as the risk for severe weather. Now, this is all going to kickstart as wintry weather in western North Carolina. We've already got frozen precipitation falling right now. A little bit of snow, a little bit of freezing rain in Transylvania County. Now moving into Henderson County where slick spots will be possible early tomorrow morning. Then it turns into rain and we've got the rain. Live Super Doppler 4 mapping this out for us minute by minute. Widespread soaking rain settling into Pickens, Clemson, Anderson right now. It's going to continue to stream into the area overnight. When it's all said, we've got the ice totals here that are going to accumulate up to a third of an inch there in parts of Henderson County. New model data here showing as much as a half an inch of ice possible up towards ski country. So this ice could be something to really watch tomorrow morning for you folks in the mountains. It's going to be a lot of rain. We're talking two to four inches of rain in about 12 hours tomorrow. So flood watch in place for most of us as well. Add to that the wind. Yeah, the wind going to be high tomorrow. It's going to be anywhere from 30 to 40 miles per hour. A good bit of the day, but cranking higher than that for other parts of the day. And we have to account for the risk for severe weather. A medium risk southeast of I-85, but a high risk for severe weather stretching from Columbia to the coast. This could lead to tornadoes. In fact, when I look specifically at that, the hatched area here means that there's a high risk of EF2 or greater tornadoes in that area. Not too far from us. So we need to watch this closely, especially for you folks in Greenwood, Abbeville, Elberton, Lawrence counties. But how do we get there? We're in the mid to upper 30s right now in the mountains. We're in the 40s in the upstate. Well, hour by hour tomorrow, you'll see temperatures get into the mid 50s in the northern part of the upstate with rain tapering off about mid afternoon. It's going to be windy though, very windy, even when the wind moves out. But for the mountains, temperatures get into the upper 40s to around 50 degrees with the rain tapering off mid afternoon as well. But that southerly wind coming in, that's going to warm things up in the upstate tomorrow. Look at the freezing rain developing and continuing through the morning hours tomorrow in the mountains, but transitioning to heavy rainfall. It's going to be rocking and rolling folks in the morning, just really driving heavy rain. I think the worst of the storm for us is between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. That continues to roll through 11 a.m. We got this strong line rolling through. This could be the gustiest winds we see out of this 60 miles per hour at times, and there could be a possible isolated tornado in this as well. We'll need to watch that threat closely through 2 o'clock across the entire area here as this wall of rain starts to move out of our area. We'll clear things out, but the wind, it stays high. All said, new rainfall estimates just in from our computer model. Wow, this one just came in, spitting out five inches in Greenville, 4.4 inches in Spartanburg. Again, this will lead to widespread flooding across the area. We need to really take this seriously, folks. That's a lot of rain in about 12 hours time frame. The wind gusts with saturated grounds, and then you have these winds that pick up tomorrow around lunchtime. This could lead to some downed trees across the area and power outage concerns through the afternoon and evening hours. Uh, 40 mile per our wind still at 8, 9 o'clock tomorrow evening. So the bottom line, heavy rain begins around 3 a.m. It's already raining in many locations, but it turns heavier. 2 to 4 inches plus of rain, 40 to 60 mile per hour winds, a medium risk for severe weather and power outages being possible. Add to that, we turn cold. Latest outlook for the middle of the month showing well below average temperatures for the southeast, which could make things interesting for us. So the four day looks like this. Rain and high winds 59 tomorrow, clearing out but turning windy and cold. Going into Friday, we got another rainmaker coming our way. One to two inches expected with that one. Saturday, Sunday, we've got chilly conditions. Mid 40s heading our way.